what happened? We lost. Why do you think it got out of hand and got as ugly as it did? I think offensively we let our we let our offense dictate our defense. I think uh, we wasn't scoring early. It wasn't easy, and um, you know we got to be better defensive. When we're not scoring the basketball, we still got to get stops, and um, I thought it affected us all around. Ty, in regards to regrouping after a night like tonight, where does that begin? Defensively. The uh, the Isaiah play I, seemed to happen in front of you. What, what, what happened there? What was he? What was he doing? Trying to stab for the ball, and I think he hit Wiggins in the throat. Whatever, so it's a uh, flagrant two. Is there any commonality in, in tonight, even though it was a, a bigger margin of uh, defeat, uh, with some of the other losses you guys have had recently? Say that again, Dave. Is there anything common to tonight's loss, even though it was a larger margin of defeat, to some of the other losses you guys have had recently? Um, I thought they hurt us in the interior. A lot, a lot of points in the paint. Um, offensive rebounding. Then we start small with Jay, and I thought Taj, his size, and. You know, Big Cat, you know, their size really affected us in the paint. 15 offensive rebounds. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I got to watch the rest of it. Kevin, Isaiah, and JR were combined 0 for 18 in the first half, and you guys fell out by as many as 27. Again, you said they were doing things defensively, making things hard. But uh, well, I, say, I understand when it wasn't easy for us to score and get baskets. Yeah, they didn't really, you know, we got some good shots, didn't make, and I thought it affected us on the end. I mean, this team, obviously, I mean, you guys have been to three finals. But if you look over the last couple of years, you have a couple nights like this where it gets way out of hand. Uh, tonight, you were down by 41. How, how does that happen to this team? I don't know. More so than, you know, I mean, there's one or two other teams in the league that have been as good, you know, or close to as good as you guys. Yeah, we've been down 41, you said? I mean, you were down 41 tonight. Right. Well, it just happens. It happens three or four times a year to a lot of teams. So we're not the only team that gets, gets beat like that. Have you considered any lineup changes either? No, sir. You've said a few times the offense is not helping the defense, but the defense certainly doesn't seem to be improving at all. Are you no, I say helping. I said it, we let it dictate our defense. So we're not scoring, then, you know, then things get bad for us on the other end. And it can't be like that. In recent games, you've said that the offense is not helping the defense with, with, with shot selection or turnovers or whatever it is. But when you look just strictly at the defense, are you getting concerned at all that you are not being, that you can't stop teams right now? Um, well, we haven't been able to stop them as of late. Um, defense was just one-on-one -on -one off the dribble, um, pick and roll. Um, it's been our Achilles heel in transition. So um, they got all three tonight. Little Bronx, you can play from whenever he took him out through the end, but he only took eight shots tonight. Um, why do you think he never really got going? I don't know. You got to ask him. Uh, that fair what? That you... Yeah, he just never got to a rhythm, I think, offensively. I think um, he came out trying to get other guys involved early, and, um, you know, I think from there it just it really kind of snowballed once they took the lead, and he really never got to a good rhythm. Do you have any concern about further punishment for Isaiah? For the what? No. The West is coming, and we will be ready. Great seats are still available. Get yours today at Cavs.com slash tickets.